Hi, my name is Vincent and today I want to take a look at a ratio problem as it appears on the SAT exam. So we have the value of 8 pounds of ham is D dollars and a pound of ham has the same value as P pounds of turkey. What is the value in dollars of 1 pound of turkey? So for this problem I want to look at two solutions. The first solution will be algebraic and if you want just to see the second solution where I plug in random numbers you could fast forward to this part of the video here. So we start off with the information that was given to us. We know that 8 pounds of ham cost D dollars. So we could say 8 pounds of ham equals D dollars. And now the next piece of information that was given to us is a pound of ham has the same value as P pounds of turkey. So we need to find out how much does 1 pound of ham cost? Well if 8 pounds of ham is D dollars then one pound of ham, we could divide both sides by eight, and this tells us eight divided by eight is one, so one pound of ham equals D over eight dollars. So now we could use this information to move to the next stage of the problem. A pound of ham has the same value of P pounds of turkey. So now we focus over here and we know that P pounds of turkey, so P pounds of turkey, P pounds of turkey is the same price as one pound of ham. Well, one pound of ham is D over eight dollars, so P pounds of turkey costs D over eight dollars. So now to find out the price in dollars of one pound of turkey, well, we know P pounds of turkey cost, P, uh, we could get P pounds of turkey for D over $8. So for one pound, we're going to divide both sides by P. And now P divided by P equals one. So this tells us that one pound of turkey equals, and now D over eight divided by P, you could call this P over one, and if you do keep change flip, this works out to D over AP dollars. Just to recap, D over eight, keep, change, flip, this gives us D over eight times one over P, which gives us D over AP dollars. So this tells us that our answer to this question is choice A. We have D over AP. But now the second solution, so now we want to look at the second solution where we pick random values to fit the problem. That is, if we start off with 8 pounds of ham, is D dollars. Let's say 8 pounds of ham cost $48. That would tell us that we're setting D equal to 48. And a pound of ham has the same price as P pounds of turkey. Well then how much would one pound of ham cost? If eight pounds of ham is forty-eight dollars, then one pound of ham is equal to six dollars. And the way we arrive at six dollars is we're saying eight divided by eight is one, forty-eight divided by eight is six. So now we reread this line. A pound of ham has the same price as P pounds of turkey. So let's say we'll set P equal to to two. So this would read two pounds of turkey is equal to six dollars. Two pounds of turkey equals six dollars. And just to recap where we got these numbers from, a pound of ham has the same price as P pounds of turkey. So a pound of ham costs six dollars and we set P equal to two. So this is where we arrive at the equation two pounds of turkey equals six dollars. So now when we're trying to find the value in dollars of one pound of turkey, all we need to do now is divide both sides by two and one pound of turkey is equal to three dollars because we're doing two divided by two is one six dollars divided by two is three dollars so now we need to plug in d equals forty eight and p equals two and see which of the following answer choices generates 
$3 when we plug in these values. And notice if we plug it into choice A, we have D divided by 8 times P. So we have D divided by 8 times and P equals 2. All we did was substitute D equals 48 and P equals 2. And notice this gives us 48 divided by 16, which is equal to 3, which is exactly the same as the price of one pound of turkey we generated by picking random numbers. So we have two solutions to this problem. I personally like to use the first solution because it may take you an extra two minutes to plug in the random values through all the answer choices before you find the right one. For instance, if we had chose choice C to try out first, then we would be doing D times P divided by 8. So D is 48 times P equals 2 divided by 8. Like this gives us 96 divided by 8, which is 12, which doesn't match the $3 we should be getting. So we would have to discard this solution and then try out the next one. So as you can see, this method will sometimes waste a lot of time. So it's good to know how to do both, but pick one that you like to do more. Okay, well, this is going to conclude this video on an SAT ratio problem. Thank you all for watching, and I hope that this was helpful.